Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. Okay, this is uh, part one of a two part uh, video. This is removing the AC condenser fan in this 2004 Dodge Ram, same as any 02 to 08. Uh, this is one of those jobs that is a whole lot easier once you know how to do it. The tools you'll need for this are a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter socket uh, with a ratchet and extension, a tool able to cut plastic, because as you can see, Chrysler didn't exactly uh, design this to be replaced easily, uh, a flat blade screwdriver, and a Phillips screwdriver. You want to start by uh, removing your battery. Actually, you can see we've already disconnected the negative cable, and now we're using our 10 millimeter wrench, and we did that with a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet as well. Uh, loosening up the positive cable with our 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, and then carefully, because you don't want to touch that screwdriver to anything else, you want to carefully pry off the positive battery cable. And now I'm going to fast forward a little bit, but there's a 10 millimeter bolt, um, basically the middle bottom of the battery that holds the battery clamp down, and you want to remove that. Um, as you remove it, uh, the bolt that's at the bottom can slip, and if you have to, you can grab that with a wrench at the bottom as well. And now you're going to use your 10 millimeter socket wrench again and unbolt the negative ground cable from the fender. And I just put that bolt back in the fender for safekeeping. Okay, now you want to pull the battery towards the fender a little bit. Then there's a basically a block, it's the little bracket that holds the uh, battery in. And then you can lift the battery out and store it on a piece of wood, not store it on uh, the concrete floor. Next you're going to want to remove your, well not remove, but get your fuse relay center out of the way. There's a 13 millimeter bolt there. And then there's a little clip that has a Phillips head pin in it that you just kind of undo the pin and pull the pin head up and out and then this lifts up okay and the clip comes out okay fast forward through removing that 13 millimeter bolt okay and then this relay center slides towards the engine and then it pops out. And then you can kind of take it and move it over to where your battery was. Okay, so you can see I've used some uh, plastic wire ties and just kind of tied this up and out of the way. Not too tight because I want to be able to flex these wires around a little bit. Now I'm going to remove four 10 millimeter bolts, two that hold. Uh, the AC fan here, and then this one here that holds the radiator shroud, and all the way on the other side, there's another one here that holds the radiator shroud as well. You want to release, um, there's two pins, one here and one uh, way down here. Just use a regular screwdriver and pry those out and then after you pry them some you usually just grab onto them work them back and forth and out 10 millimeter socket with a small extension and you can use a ratchet obviously I'm using an air ratchet just for a little bit of quickness okay and I'll do a little fast forwarding again too as I remove those four uh, bolts and as you, as I remove the last one, the radiator, you can see the radiator kind of flex down. Now you're just going to want to kind of lift up your radiator, push it back a little bit, give it a little room to move around the AC condenser and fan. What you want to do is remove your uh, 
AC line from these clips here and then also from one way over here on the passenger side Okay, that allows your line to go up. So now you can kind of lift up and move around your condenser and fan assembly. There are four bolts that hold the condenser into the fan assembly. They're 10 millimeter. One's there. One is further down there. You can just kind of lift the, um, let me see. There you go, lift it up and get a better view. And then there's also two on this side. One there and one way further down right there. Um, you can either reach that by reaching down there or actually from the bottom as well. Then I've got my 10 millimeter socket with my ratchet, no extension this time. And a little fast forward again. Uh, as I take these bolts out and you can see I just lift up the condenser and fan assembly just so I can get at the bolts and get everything out and everything. Okay, so you can see with the shroud pulled up, okay, our um, Condenser now is loose, but Chrysler for some reason designed this so that you the right way to do it, I guess, is to disconnect this line. But you can't do that because that depressurizes your AC. Uh, it's illegal because you can't let the gases go in the air, and then you'd have to get your AC system recharged. So what you want to do is either break or cut uh, this, basically this piece right here so that then you can get the um, condenser out. Okay, how do you do this? Depends on the tools you have. I've got these snips. Okay, it goes right through the plastic pretty easy. Be careful not to damage your condenser at all. Okay, now we're basically ready to pull it out. We've got a few things here. We've got this arm that comes off the battery. Make sure that we get the fan up and over it first. Um, and then uh, this comes apart. You have to slide the condenser over and pull the fan out. So, I'll try and show you that as best I can here. All right, so, we want to bring our condenser and fan assembly up. So, it's basically on top of that arm. Okay. And now pull the condenser gently out of the fan assembly here. Try to practice this like three times, but it seems like every time it comes out a little different. Pull my condenser way forward here. Try not to let the fan and the condenser hit too much so you don't want to ruin the fins. connector right here. Use a screwdriver to undo it. The fan comes out. Okay, here's my original fan. A new fan from 1A Auto. 
you're going to want to swap all your grommets over. design maybe a later or earlier design I'll see how that installs uh, but I am going to cut uh, this off right here so I can get it around that hose okay and uh, we're going to end that uh, end this one here for now um, just check out uh, the part two to the same uh, video to see the reinstallation of the fan we hope this helps you out Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.